You are listening to the NBC Law Firm Show. Immigration bows, visa serve knows. U.S. and Canadian immigration and nationality lawyers who speak your language. Welcome back. I'm Vijaya making sense of immigration law with the lawyers from the NPC Law Group only on Mirchi. And I'm joined by David Nockman, the founder and managing attorney at NPC Law. So, David, tell me a little about the J-1 visa and the two-year residency requirement around it. Thanks so much for that question, Vijay. And actually, it's a very interesting question that we get oftentimes right after the H-1B season because individuals who are not uh, successful in the H-1B lottery look to the J-1 as possible option for being able to come to work in the United States. So the J-1 visa is for workers coming to the United States, trainees coming to the United States, individuals who are camp counselors and nannies and foreign medical graduates. Mm -hmm. The thing about the J-1 is that it's really a visa that is a creature of the U.S. Department of State as opposed to the U.S. CIS or U.S. Department of Homeland Security. So oftentimes when we're looking to try to figure out what options or what programs are available, we're on the U.S. Department of State website at Travel dot state dot gov to see what types of options might exist for the individual who wants to come. Mm -hmm. And so what we also often do is we look to see what country they're from because oftentimes and what program that they're in, because oftentimes what accompanies that J-1 visa might be what's called the two-year foreign residency requirement under Section 212E of the INA. And that two-year foreign residency requirement requires the individual to go home to their home country. It's actually called the home physical presence requirement because it requires them to go back home to their home country for two full years. Now, oftentimes those two full years can be accomplished in, uh, it can be staggered. Mm -hmm. Okay, or the individual can go home and fulfill that two-year residency requirement, but probably and most likely the individual is going to contact our office and ask us if they can process what's called a waiver of the two-year residency requirement. And that probably is most, uh, we, we get that question mostly for foreign medical graduates from uh, India and from uh, other countries uh, where what they've done is uh, they've decided that they want to stay in the United States and uh, to fulfill that uh, residency requirement through a variety of different programs that allow them to get that waiver. So if we have any listeners who might have any questions about, it's a very technical subsection within the immigration laws of the United States, but if anyone has any questions, our lawyers here at the NPC Law Group are uh, adept at handling both the J-1 visa as well as getting a waiver of the two-year residency requirement under Section 212E. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's great. So help is at hand and NPZ uh, Law Group can help.